So, um, have been a couple of cloud festivals talk with uh, SaaS providers and ask, so what can we do for the, make MariaDB better for them? Basically, they need the biggest problem is uh, that uh, when you have lots of tenants, is basically customers, or a database, if there's somebody who's uh, misusing resources, it's really hard to find out who is doing that and get rid of those. So then I thought, of, and also it's very hard to get statistics of who is doing what so you can control people. So that was kind of the start for me, starting with a catalog project, uh, but basically allows you to easily to see who is doing what and uh, also giving a better experience for the uh, end users. And uh, typically on a normal server, if without catalogs, you can have about uh, um, 100 tenants uh, for, data, for a server, and um, I mean hardware server, and there's also a problem with limited access and so on. Basically, normal case when you buy a cheap account, you get one username, one database, you can't do anything. With catalogs, you will get something that looks like a full MariaDB experience with well, where you have your own users, any amount of those, your own database, and so on. So uh, the container approach is basically one uh, container per server, <coughs> user, or then the common one. The most common one is that one schema per user. And the catalogs you basically get. Uh, the physical machine, each, each customer or tenant has a catalog and everything looks like a full server. So you can basically even have a, uh, your physical server replicate to a catalog in the cloud and have a perfect, very, very cheap backup. So this is an actually scheduled for element 6. So the next long term release is a 11.7, catalogs will definitely be there. So the uh, catalogs provide the best of the both, both words. Uh, VM or schema. Uh, you still had a problem with a noisy neighbor, but uh, you have full statistics per catalog. So the admin can see the same thing you know see with show global variables or show global status. They can do that per catalog and also have a a full view of everything, so you can ex exactly see who is doing what, how much resources they have used, uh, using now and over time. Catalog, yeah, directories inside of the system. Yeah, yeah. So catalog is implemented that uh, on top of you have the top directory and now you have database. Now we add one directory in between, which is the catalog. It gets, gets scaling. Uh, some of the the, the hundred x was actually something that some of the uh, cloud vendors told me that if we, we do if this actually works, we can have hundred x more users per server, which is a really great saving. And of course, these are users who so doesn't do much, but it's but it's much better experience for those who only connect uh, once a month or something else. There are, there are also users who don't live with that. So the, the, those can in those scenarios. Catalogs provides you the best, uh, most economical uh, approach. So we are still in doing development. Uh, we have about 20 tasks open. You only have one hard task left. So it's tenant with catalog, basic, and uh, you, know, you, know, you can connect to the catalog either by doing um, MariaDB, usually you have, you have that's the database, but you can say catalog dot database, so that will work with all, all the clients. Uh, you can also just say that, uh, uh, that uh, associate a cat name with a unique IP or with a port. So there's very easy way that you can run with all clients. You will also have a, a catalog option that you can use for, for the new clients. You can say MariaDB. Uh, minus minus catalog is something and connected. But it's, I think it's a great, a lot of work to ensure that uh, this will work with new clients and old clients. If I use the user, I can use MariaDB dump. Each user has their own general log, slow log, so everything looks like a 
normal server. Don't you think that you don't have this replication because replication is done at the upper levels that the system admin can replicate every, everything over there. But uh, it's, it's possible to set up replications so that you can replicate from a on premise to a catalog, from catalog to another catalog, from that catalog out to uh, other premises, which gives uh, service providers options that they never could do before. And you can't install plugins either. You cannot install plugins either. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Can you use plugins though? If someone has I, the system the, the can do that and they are available to everyone. Uh, so, uh, and then you have a special catalog root users who's the only one who can to, uh, move from one catalog to another one. And they can do their shutdown master server status with this uh, kind of global status that that's for the whole server. And you can also use catalog and you can do drop catalog and for that reason. So there's uh, with the limitations, uh, currently we have a short name for Catalogs then just because uh, we are creating that outside, so we don't want to have it be debate for that yet. And plugins, uh, health tables, time zones, that is just stored once, so they are stored outside because uh, these are the dust space uh, and a few other tables. And uh, one thing that we haven't done yet, this needs to be moved inside the catalog so that its catalogs has their own statistics. Okay. In states, uh, we have about, actually, eight development tasks at this point in time. And you create the catalog by, by, by leaving install DB like a normal create server, but you also have your own options. I want to have uh, two dogs and two cats. I have four, I have four, actually five cats now, there, no, four cats, and, and three dogs at home, so that's appropriate. Uh, and, and if you do this one, then you, uh, the catalogs up and running, you just get new catalogs working with the current server. So you can both initialize it and add new ones at any point in time. Well, for example, separate instance or DB? No, everybody shared that. Share because we want to, we want to share. The, the big benefit is that we have the, uh, the page buffer is uh, shared by everyone. Yeah. That's why we've been uh, memory compared to single installs. There's one single instance of each plugin, basically. Yeah. Not just in everything. Yeah. And, uh, and then you have some new, uh, new comments that, but that basically does for them. Super ISO. And, um, and uh, so to make things compatible how things were before, uh, especially somebody logs into the catalog, that means so, uh, you have so global status or catalog status, that basically shows what you, have, what you can see. And I have to have global status be a catalog because that's what use people may have in the scripts or type. So that is the catalog. If you, and only this super, super catalog user can do show server status that shows everything. So that, that kind of a, the effect of that. And then you have show global status, show server status that shows everything and catalog and global is basically the same thing. But things just work as before. So this is what we already have implemented. Uh, I will not, uh, not go to details because uh, this ends with the demonstration soon. Uh, we have added a support to some of the clients, uh, backup, uh, uh, the VL storage, query cache. <laughs> and uh, of the not yet implemented features, this one is uh, the only hard one left. So basically, each catalog can have their own config file so that the uh, uh, the service provider can give you limits that this one can only create uh, temporary uh, files of this size or something. This will allow you have to have much more control of each tenant. I actually already implemented temp -deal statistics and temp -deal quotas, which is also coming to MySQL, sorry, MariaDB 11.5. 
And but uh, I did that because we just definitely need that in with catalogs. And as I said, catalogs had their own temp uh, own temporary files and everything else. Monty, before you switch the slide, the next stage for catalogs, how much it's next? So is it still within eleven version or it will be yeah, 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 everything will be before eleven seven, which is by the end of year. So including this the uh, the ne ne next stage uh will only be the, the done when everything else works. So I, if I, I hope we have catalogs in 11.6 that makes, uh, gives us three months to implement new things, but... Uh, is, is the software ready for catalog as well? Or? Yeah, that already works. Yeah. One more, yeah, sorry for... Yeah. Uh, one more question, can I easily split my database by catalogs without any migrations? By, say, annotating these tables go to this, uh, uh, basically, you can always do a move between, uh, I mean, they are just directories. So, uh, moving those, uh, we could have this uh, super uh, reducer doing that. I mean, there's nothing that stops us from doing that. Because we don't have that yet. So, we will not need to migrate data physically, we just need to configure and like one million downtime and we have everything split by the Currently, uh, we need to do a little bit of work there because the, the, the path to the catalogs in InnoDB internal data dictionary has one path uh, more. So we don't have to change data, but we have to go and change the data dictionary. And in this case, uh, if that's needed, I need to talk with Mark and probably can implement that in a couple of days. But that's not thought about yet. Mm -hmm. That's in attached table space probably needs to be. With, uh, I mean, table space is something basically going. Yeah. Uh, going, uh, getting away because uh, market doesn't like them and they don't provide some news. Mm. So but currently we are targeting SaaS providers and uh, pro uh, and we have some sponsors and currently we let the sponsor decide of uh, which uh, features we are going to add in, 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 in which order. But uh, we hope to have in probably March we will, uh, because the, big, the biggest issue that was uh, Missing was having users per catalog, and we said to just fix that. So now we are ready for doing our first uh, code drops. Probably, let's say, early March is uh, my best case just now. Okay, so here I have uh, the latest MyDB compile. So um, I'll just start the server. Actually, no, I will first install the data directory. So we'll go to scripts, minus q, we're going to say catalogs equals f1, f2, log1, log2. Obviously, we have to do this. Yeah. And we can actually show the data structure. I uh, actually will list it in a different folder because this one I already played with. So. so it doesn't take long to install if we do. So you'll notice the difference in file structure. We have now one folder per catalog, there is a special folder called dev. If I do this, and this is, no, that's not this. Okay, they can see that. Yeah. Okay, so we have cat1, cat2, dot1, dot2, dot2, dot3. We can go inside one uh, catalog. Um, now, if def is the one that's usually, uh, that is the base one. So here you will have the tables like the MySQL plugin table. Here, we have it here. And if we go into a different catalog, like cat one, you'll see a, a file called catalog opt. This is uh, some defaults per catalog, like default character set and collation. Uh, I think we can also add a comment here, right? Yeah. yeah, so we can add a comment here. And that's basically, that's how you deploy a, from scratch, the way we do it catalogs. 
Now I can start the server on the data directly. Okay, so server started, I'll start a new terminal. Yeah, make that the okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so I need to use the uh, client that is aware of catalogs, so. Um, like when you install, you get the current user as the as one installed in the MySQL global proof table, so I can use the uh, change as the user and I'll just say catalog equals, uh, let's start with that one. My dog is there, there is a, uh, it's okay. a okay, dog, dog number three, which is DB. Yeah. Uh, notice the prompt shows we're in this catalog. Um, if I, I can do show databases, we'll see, we don't see any hint of a catalog here. Uh, if I select from MySQL local proof, you'll see we have like the default users. We have root, we have the chance, we have the common crawl, and two anonymous roles, um, users. Uh, let's drop some of these. So I will drop all the anonymous ones. User. And let's drop the other one. I'll also drop the chain too. That's harsh. Yeah, I'm dropping myself. Uh, but the point is, I want to drop the chain so I can show you that now if I try to log into the catalog three, I get access denied. But if I change the catalog, so it is the same in the way that the catalog log two was installed, I'm able to connect. And I want to connect with the root user. So I'm going to use root here. I will not specify a catalog. We get into depth. And root is special. We can do show catalogs. We get to see all our catalogs here. Uh, and we can do change catalog. Oh, actually, let's use catalog. Uh, let's go to doc3. I can show you that when we select from MySQL global crib. we see just the root user that was left after dropping. Um, granting, creating users, granting them privileges only takes effect for a catalog. And when you create a database, in log three, you see db one here. Like you can imagine that everything from this set of command just works. Um, and that's also why show global has to show uh, all users in that catalog because that's what you said I used. Yeah. Question: if, What happens if you remove the root user from that catalog? Is it, because it's the same root user that. Uh, no, yeah. totally it's, it's, it's completely different. Okay. So I can I can try to. So can I do that to <coughs> say that the. Uh, upper level root user doesn't have any privileges from reading and speaking. And the upper level is the basic for for the service provider. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they they, they no, you, you, but uh, you can uh, so the service providers you have the same privileges uh, like you have normally in a server, and uh, except that uh, that's the only uh, instance where you can have the catalog privilege that allows you to move between uh, catalogs. And while you're moving around, you keep all the privileges that you had before. So if you have the uh, privi uh, okay. global privilege for all, you have it for everyone. But if you say that you don't have read, you don't have read. So we can we can find that now. I actually haven't tried this, so let's see if the server actually crashes. So uh, I connected to dev catalog. I dropped from a doc three the root user. Now if I use catalog. Uh, yeah, but you're still a uh, different diff user, so that's a. So if I show graphs here, no, I have this button. This one doesn't work. It actually show graphs now looks into the current catalog instead of passing over the graphs. So still a bit of work to do. No, but actually in this case you are uh, you don't have 
any grant to this one because your grants are there elsewhere, in some sense. Yes, but I, like right now I can't do anything. So even if I try to do a create user, I'd be surprised if this works. It works because <laughs> you have you because your grants come from the dev catalog. They are they are uh, dormant and stays there forever. Right, but the show grants should have known to look into that one. And basically, it should just say so, so, so that uh, you are, you are in the def, from the dev catalog, you should know what you're doing. Yeah, so who got created in the right catalog. Yeah. Uh, also, if you are thinking of maybe doing something like this, this doesn't work. So you can't just prepend the catalog. So and that was intentional because we don't want anybody to be able to do that even uh, accidentally. We want to keep them separate, and you shouldn't, shouldn't even know that separate. The only way that you know it's separate, that you are in a uh, um, in a catalog is that uh, here you can see that you are in the catalog dog tree, because that's why you connect it. So you, the only thing you can do with catalog is you can say use dog tree, use catalog dog tree, because you're already there. That That's for scripts like uh, Maria, uh, my, uh, Maria to be dumped or something else. So Maria to be dumped can be used as a dev user, and then you can uh, back up everything. Yeah. Basically, that's where we are right now. Obviously, some kinks to work out here and there, but the bulk of the feature is actually working. Yeah. And anybody can go in and, and go to there's a catalog, MDEV in Jira, and it has sub mdevs for everything that's open and that's all known issues and that's not mo almost all the hard issues are solved except catalog variable unique variables like there, there's lots of things you can polish like for example here the error message uh, it's more useful if you actually know the catalog that the user was denied access to so because um, you, you don't know where right from this warning where the uh, attempt happened by the way, will the users be able to see their only logs for their catalog? Yeah. yeah uh, so uh, all logs are stored in inside the catalog. Except the error log. Yeah? Except the error log. Error, 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 log, error log is... Uh, uh, that, that's on the upper level because that uh, includes information that you shouldn't see. <laughs> yeah. But slow log and general log is uh, in, the, in the user deck. The way to catch deadlocks without the error notes? Without? Catching deadlocks. The way to catch deadlocks without the error notes? Uh, we, we haven't thought about that yet. We, have, we will take that um, issue when it happens. And in this case, you go to the DB, uh, to the, the, uh, the provider who will tell you. I mean, this is basically for Catalogs is when you want to have thousands of, of users who are doing small things, testing everything else. Then when you're in production, you probably want to have the VM. So what exactly is the role of the dev? Uh, to, to provide uh, a user who can access everything. Uh, on, only the, the, the root user from dev or the one that has catalog ACL privileges in dev can do change catalog. I can, I can create catalog show uh, do uh, look at performance schema overall catalogs. So that's special. And uh, that was the easiest way to do that. So, so process this from, from the dev user? Uh, you, will, you will get everything? Uh, currently. I think so. The, the, I know that information schema currently only looks at dev, so it doesn't print everything yet. Just tested that, but let's see. Client, I mean, just the clients. I think actually, show process list is still one of the open issues. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we do a root. Where? Let's see. Let's see. Can we connect here? Six times two. Yeah. Yeah, so we see it here. Okay, great. But actually, we, we need to extend it because we don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we need to extend it to also at catalog, but only for uh, only for the uh, uh, 
catalog user. For example, now I know that if we're trying to do my tables, this will just show that. Okay. So there are some tables. Yeah, so it's an empty set, this is not yet working. Another part that's, the tricky part in catalogs that's still left is uh, si like system variables. You need, to, you need to go through each one and decide which one needs to be global, which one needs to be catalog based. So there's 1,682 last time I checked. <laughs> so that's gonna take a while. Uh, and also, um, one thing that the server was coded for before is that if you change anything in MySQL database, if you really mess it up, the server will just stop working. And it's like, okay, this is wrong, I'll just shut down. You cannot do that with uh, catalogs because uh, one tenant could just take down the whole system. So we need to look at all the code paths to fix that. And uh, in this case, we will just block the one tenant to do that, not everybody else. That's and that's about it. Uh, question about replication. So, what will happen when say Galera will it support catalogs automatically? Uh, uh, no, not magically. Uh, so, one of the open issues uh, that was on my slide, but I went quickly through the Galera is still uh -huh. we, we, we needed to have at least the users for the Galera people to to start testing it. But uh, they are informed that uh, uh, when we have this one and variables, then we will give. And the task to them, to them to get Galera to work. For them, will it be more or less like easy to support, or it will be also a lot of work to support? They only need to extend the paths. So, because, so the major work was uh, to ensure that the, when we have a path, uh, that the upper level adds the um, server and uh, the catalog path to all paths that it sends down. So all, uh, not all story sends it. My SMA area. Um, a heap in a DB supports this. So basically, everything that uh, that is uh, needed for for other things already have that. So they, they just have to uh, Galera just have to see that they don't in any of the internal structures uh, they have some limit with the path, or they try to only look at the end, end of the path. If they're looking at the whole path, things will just work automatically. The path is in the inner DB. I would say it's less than 100 lines. But the worst thing is DDL and cluster locks in Galera. So in this scenario... But when the, the, the DDLs will be per catalogs. I mean, usually the DDL locks will be, happen for that table. So but you it, can it will relax be, it for just the catalog thing. Yeah, yeah, it should be. Yeah. Can having the... Uh, okay, in some cases, what the user have the right to change the catalog? And in another catalog, this the same user you switch to doesn't have this. No, when you switch catalog, you are still always the same user. You don't use you. You always use the, the privilege from well, the dev catalog. Just right now, you are one. No, no, no that, this is the the this database. database. Ah, okay. so um, my current user was something like normal. Yes, the current user will show dev. No, no, current user is just with that local host. I mean, yeah, we, we, we could improve it if we also show from which catalog the user comes from. Yeah, now it's true. But, uh, but the, the problem if you do that, actually we can't do that. I mean, because uh, uh, we don't, that will break things for people who are depending on the value of the user. It has to be seen that there's no catalog. Only for the dev catalog we could, could do that. But he already knows that he's in the dev catalog. Yeah. So the users are stored in the global table. No, no, no. There is there is uh, one set of users per per catalog. Okay. One set of users per catalog, completely independent. So uh, ah, so you cannot switch to another catalog if you don't have this user there. No, no, no you, you can't switch between catalogs. Only the dev uh, user can do that. Okay, I'll, I'll, so there is a special privilege bit that should, in practice, only be granted inside the dev catalog to a user inside the dev catalog. If that user has that privilege bit, he can run use catalog to change to somewhere else and create other stuff there. The grants that the user had in the dev catalog 
carry along with him. Like the, the, the access bits carry along. They, you don't look at the global privileges inside the catalog you're in. So then what happens when you call select from MySQL global grid? You get the one from the catalog you're taking. Probably can, but probably that, no. No? No. So remember, as a diff, you don't create ever create tables, you don't do anything. You only manage other users. But if you are the user from the dev yeah. catalog and you are inside some catalog, yeah. you if 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 you have if you have been granted all privileges, you can do anything. But will will you be seen in the global print table? No. Ah. You are hidden. You are spying. <laughs> it's like God watching over all other users. So for, for, for migration from a regular data directory uh, old, old release in this new system, you just take the data deal, you just move away the, uh, the read logs and the end logs, the IR logs. We, 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 we have to create tools for, so I, I want to create tools for allowing you, you from moving from an uh, on-prem backup to a catalog, from a catalog to another catalog, and out from the catalogs. Those are uh, to do when we are ready with everything else. Now, right now, the only use case is the one where you start from scratch. Right now, you create the data here from scratch, and then you, then you can import data inside each catalog if you really want. What is the major master? Yeah. Um, but uh, should be in the catalog. Possibly. Yeah, because I haven't fixed oh, you say replication is a global. A replication global. Okay. Okay. It's still work in progress. It's still work in progress. You're not even alpha release yet. So dev is a very uh, capital name that Yeah. Uh, dev is a simple standard compatible, so that's why we decided. Like if you if you look at information schema now in a before catalog server, you will see that there are uh, there is a column called table catalog. It's always def. So you've had the first full support today from day one as well. So, okay. so that was just the easy way to do it. <clears throat> and how why, why this is secure is that always when you go uh, uh, always when uh, you switch a, cat, uh, a catalog and look at privileges, you always mask it with a privilege that is allowed in this catalog. And only the dev catalog has the uh, privilege, uh, catalog privilege, privilege set. So if you, even if you get some strange access and can manipulate your user table and set the bit, it will still always be uh, automatically set. The directory should be. Uh, each, each catalog can have their own temporary directory. You can you can specify if you want to have a global one or you want to have your own one. That's still that's not done, but that, that, that's a smart of having these variables. And there will be an option that you can say that uh, catalog unique temps. In that this case, we can create a temp directory inside the catalogs, yeah. and then you don't. Otherwise, you have to go to each catalog's config file and and put your own path there. So this is just a, a fast version of that. Final questions for or one final question. I mean, and, and in case you really mess up the dev catalog, you can always start the server with skip grant tables and just insert the right things. <laughs> I use that when debugging some things. So yeah. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Jensil.